This video is sponsored by HP. The Omen brand is now getting into the apparel business and you can pick up some sweet merch like this guy right here. I'll place links in the description down below. So here it is, the brand new OnePlus Bullets version two. These are the wireless edition. You can pick these up for $99, which cost exactly $30 more than last year's model. But this year, just like the OnePlus 7 Pro, they decided to increase the price tag. And I got a couple of concerns with that. First and foremost, you're getting essentially the exact same design, but there are a few things that have changed. The first one is the earbuds. You no longer get wing tips in the box. You're stuck without them, so you have to make sure they fit your ear correctly. Now, day-to-day -day use, I didn't find them falling out of my ear whatsoever, but I did notice some slippage when I was going to the gym. When my ears or my head started getting a bit too sweaty, the left earbud kept falling out. The next big deal is the drivers that are inside of these headphones. You always had a dynamic driver, but you're also getting an additional driver on the outside to help produce better sound. Now, I'm not noticing a huge difference to the point where it's like, wow, these sound significantly better than last year's model, but there's definitely a difference. I'm finding cleaner highs and a lot better bass on the low end, providing a more soundful experience. The other thing to note is that it does come with one more functionality that you didn't get last year. You see, if you want to change between devices, let's say for example, you have it paired on your laptop and your phone, all you have to do is double tap the middle button here and that will change to the last known device. This is super convenient. Let's say you just got home from the gym, you're listening to music and the first thing you want to do is jump on the computer. You simply double tap, sit down and it automatically connects to your computer and disconnects from your smartphone. The next big thing is noise cancellation. You're not getting active noise cancellation, but it is passive and it does a good job of blacking, blocking, blacking, blocking the outside environment. The other thing is call quality. There is no noise canceling microphone and they're actually using software to cancel the noise around you. When I was talking to someone, they could hear me perfectly. I can hear them fantastic, but I didn't find the software to do as nearly a good of a job of blocking the surrounding environment as let's say other headphones that have an extra mic to do noise cancellation. So there needs to be some improvement there. There's also the addition of having aptX HD. The original model from last year only had regular aptX. This has the HD model. aptX HD essentially means you can have a higher bit rate. And with higher bit rates, that means more data, which means better sound can be transferred using Bluetooth. Now, unfortunately, they're not water resistant, but I have taken them to the gym. I have sweat all over these guys. That sounds disgusting and no issues. There are no indication of any issues potentially happening. Now, again, I don't suggest you going outside, going in the rain and getting these wet, but just to note that if you do plan on working out with these things, you shouldn't have any problems. The next big thing is battery life. OnePlus has basically baked a couple of ways to prevent these guys from draining throughout the day. So one way is allowing the magnets to close together. And when this happens, it disconnects this headphones from your device. The other way is if these are just like laying around your neck and let's say you're in the car and these disconnect, you're not paying attention. If there's no music or anything being transferred from the phone to the headphones, they will disconnect after five minutes. This means there wasn't a situation where I picked these up after let's say eight hours after leaving them on my desk with the battery being drained. The other thing is how fast these things charge. They're using warp charge, which is the same technology in the OnePlus 7 Pro, and you can charge these to about 10 hours of use in just 10 minutes. That means you can charge the entire device in about 20 to 25 minutes. I got about 12 hours of use. OnePlus is advertising 14 hours, but still, 12 hours is exceptional. Now, some of you might be saying, I want wireless charging, and quite frankly, how do you wirelessly charge a spaghetti headset like this. It will just be a very awkward situation. Now that pretty much sums up my review of the OnePlus Bullets, the wireless version two. Are they worth the extra 30 bucks? I still think they are. You're potentially getting a headset that sounds absolutely amazing for its price point. If you have the original ones, they're definitely not worth the upgrade, but if you're someone out there looking for a solid pair with pretty great sound, these ones are worth the checkout. Now, if you wanna pick up some great merch from Omen, like this awesome shirt right here, or, or this awesome voodoo sweater right here, or 
This awesome t-shirt right here, summer's around the corner, maybe the sweater's a little bit too hot. It's not gonna make you a better gamer, but at least you'll feel like one. Links will be in the description down below. That wraps up my review of the Bullets version two from OnePlus. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you have the original ones? How are they holding up for you? I wanna hear what you have to say. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.